Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. Well, today I'm gonna to address a question that I got many, many times, and that is how to create glass in Substance Painter. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, so how do you create glass in Substance Painter? Well, it's actually not that difficult. Okay, so let's jump in. So uh, first of all, you need to make sure you got something that you can apply glass onto. So I just uh, created this simple model in Maya, which is supposed to be a uh, steel frame uh, represented by the green uh, with a uh, red uh, rubber edge on there and the blue is going to be glass okay now make sure it's uv'd obviously and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in in object mode and here you can see glass rubber and steel there you go and we're going to go to file and export selection and let's call this glass tests fbx and export it as an fbx file okay i'm going to save that on my desktop there we go and now we're going to jump into substance painter all right so we're in substance painter 2.62 to be exact and i'm going to go up to file and new and we're going to leave this at pbr metal rough which is fine we're going to select our mesh which is called glass test there you go Let's see, we're going to set this to 2K map size. We're going to leave that and we're simply going to click OK. Now that opens up this guy, which all looks fine. And next thing we need to do is go in and bake our initial maps. OK, so we're going to go to our texture set setting here. We're going to go in to uh, bake textures. Let's see, we'll set this to 2K, which is fine um that is all good we're gonna leave all of that alone i'm just gonna turn off id here and we're gonna bake all texture sets all right we'll give that a second okay all done well, if you look at the top right corner here, you see that we have two or three texture set layers, glass, rubber, and steel. Let's deal with our steel and rubber first, okay? So let's select our steel layer. We're gonna go into our smart materials. Let's just, uh, I don't know, we'll take this machinery uh, type deal here. Drag and drop, and there you go. Then we're gonna go to our rubber layer. Let's go in and see if we got something called rubber and apparently we do yeah drag that in right there there you go and then finally we have our glass layer so we're going to select our glass layer and before we do anything else what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to uh, change the um, the PBR metal rough to PBR metal rough um, with an alpha because you need transparency right so we're going to go to viewer settings and we're going to go in and right now it's set to PBR metal rough. We're going to click on that and we're going to create um, PBR metal rough with alpha blending instead. Okay. So let's uh, click on that. There you go. And then we can go into our settings and we can add a channel. Now we're going to hit that little plus uh, button right there and we're going to go in and we're going to look for an opacity. And where is it? Right there. There you go. So now what we can do is go in and take an existing material, which is called, I think, Pfizer. There you go, glass Pfizer. We're on our glass layer. We're gonna drag and drop, there you go. And you can go in and change the color. If you like, if you want to have a, let's say a green hue or a red hue or something on your glass, you can change that here. Okay, but we'll leave it green-ish, like so. We're going to leave that alone. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to drop a, a new fill layer. So we're on the top line there. We're going to go to add a fill layer. There you go. And in that fill layer, we're going to go in and we're going to turn off everything except the opacity. So we're going to turn off the normal, the metal, the color, the height and the roughness. So the only thing left is the opacity. And then we're going to push that all the way down. Now, you're probably going to say, well, I don't see any transparency. Well, hang on. I'll jump to uh, our render mode, which will give us an HDRI image. And now you can clearly see that if I move this around, we're looking straight through our object. OK, you can see the sky through that material. You can see the rocks on the floor and we'll give this a second so it can complete the render. And then you'll see that's all done. 
Well, that's all there's to it. So if you want to create a glass in Substance Painter, this is how you do that, all right? Well, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, uh, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future videos and hit that little bell thing, okay? So you'll be notified, all right? Well, that's it for today, guys. Uh, see you guys soon, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.